Okay, so let's do this molecule here, ICL3. So what did we say about this molecule already? ICL3, is that normal valence, ICL3? No, it's what? Expanded valence, right? And which one of those atoms is the central atom? The iodine, and how do we know? This is the biggest one, okay? So, we should expect it to be something like I, well, let's just draw one, five, six, seven, okay? So we've got something like that. But we've got ICL3, right? So, CL in this case does not expand its valence. Hopefully everybody notices that. Okay, so I'm going to draw those other two CLs in a weird place. So this one, hopefully you guys would expect to have formed that um, bond. Like that. Okay, so that one makes sense. But because iodine has expanded its valence, and remember, what do we need um, in order to form a bond? We need a half filled orbital, right? So what happens is this orbital that's filled, if you will, kind of splits up and becomes two half filled orbitals, okay? So when that happens, we get something like that. Okay? Does everybody see that? So now hopefully you see we've got one, two, three bonds being formed, and one, two lone pairs still around. Okay? Does everybody see that? Any questions about that? Okay. So let's draw it. are wedged and hashed bonds, okay, or not bonds, but in the lone pairs, okay. So if we look over here, and I know we have this diagram, which you won't have during the exam or anything, so you have to remember. So <clears throat> how many, oh sorry, I'm erasing that. <laughs> how many um, electron groups does this iodine have around it? Five, right? So we're going to write number of electron groups. So this is how I want you guys to do it, okay? So you got to do these baby steps, okay? So five electron groups. So what is the electronic geometry then? What is it? Trigonal bipyramidal. Why? Because that has the five electron groups around it. Okay? But in this case, we only have three um, atoms around the central atom, right? So there's not five atoms, so it's not trigonal bipyramidal molecular geometry. But instead, it's T-shaped. Okay? So again, you've got to go with, well, five electron groups, then it must be trigonal. But since we've got only number of atoms is three, it must be T-shaped. 
Is everybody okay with this analysis? So this is what you have to do for every one of them, okay? Are there any questions about this one? This one's much harder, I think, than those op, uh, octet, um, the ones that do the octet rule, you know? But honestly, I don't think it's something that's out of your realm of possibilities, okay? Yeah? Could that structure be the uh, loop structure or the So in this case, in this case, again, the molecular and the Lewis structure are the same because you've got to remember that this lone pair here is coming out towards us like this, and this lone pair is actually kind of going back away from us, if you want to think about it that way, okay? So um, I think it's easier to see in this kind of diagram that the computer drew, but um, you're going, to, you're going to have to write things like this. You're going to have to write things like this, you know, on the, on the page. But when you um, are drawing your lone pairs, you don't, you don't usually put a wedge or a dash or anything like that. So in actuality, drawing something like this and drawing something like this would be equivalent um, structures, if that makes sense, OK? And this, yes, would be the same as the Lewis structure as well, OK? This is a good question. Any other questions on this? What are the angles? So what are the angles? What would you expect them to be? So these two are on the equator there, OK? So this angle, what would you expect that to be? 109. about 90 degrees. Okay. So look here, right? 90, 90, and if we had um, atoms here, we would expect around that equator to be 120, 120, and 120. So those are the, the bond angles for something that's a trigonal bipyramidal is 90 and 120, okay? So that's another good um, question, but this one doesn't have the 120 bond angle. Okay. Oh, I guess it does have this one, though, which is 180. Any other question about this? Okay, like I said, I have, I think, at least a dozen other expanded valence um, videos. Please watch them at your leisure um, to understand any ones that you don't understand, okay?